It's Friday, which is Robotics Club Day at our school, so I want to share a virtual robotics programming environment that anyone can use to explore robotics online. The website is up here in the URL, lab.open slash roberta.org. When you first go to this site, you are going to be prompted to select the robot you are using. And we use the Lego We Do for our junior teens and Lego EB3 for our upper grade classes. But you can just scroll through and see that they have several different kind of robots. And you can explore some of those too if you want. I'm going to go into the EB3. And then they have several choices of simulation environments we can go to. I'm going to go to the 9.1 version. This opens the workspace for designing your program. And the first thing you'll want to do is to explore the sim panel over here on the right. When you click here, it opens a list of choices for courses your robot can run, and you can change those by clicking on this image icon and scroll through all the course options that are available. And you can see they have different challenges, different targets, motions, and options available on each of those courses. This play button will run the code that you write over here in your workspace, and that will cause your robot to move through the course based on your coding. Um, and that lets you see your program in action. The teardrop here with a circle inside it is what you're going to want to push every time you restart your robot. It moves it back to the starting point. And that's just a good idea to use that between tests of your programming so you can start over and see how things are running from the beginning. The radio signal icon over here opens and closes the sensors data view, which is a sort of advanced um, programming technique. The one that's kind of fun is the color sensor because it's easy to see how to use this one. You can tell when I move this robot right now, it's looking at the blue. You see the blue light here, and that's at 33% for the light sensor. And if I move it up to yellow, I get 64%. Move it back over here even when it goes to white, 100%. So that you can input that data in your programming and have it recognize when it's seeing certain colors. The commands over here on the left are in color-coded menus, and that's basically familiar to us because we've been using Scratch and Code.org programs for a long time. Uh, so if you want your robot to move, you're going to go here in the... I'm going to close this for a minute so I have more screen view. When you have it closed, you can see the names of these different color-coded versions or actions. So when I click on the action one, then I can move my code over and snap it together just like in Scratch or Code.org. Make it drive forward, change its speed, change how long it's driving that direction, and then again open up your simulator and run your code. And you see how far you get from that one bit of action. This is where you want to reset it to go back to the beginning so that you can go make some changes to your code, maybe add some turns, Maybe use the color sensor to detect when you're at the red square or rectangle so that you can then turn and, and go th to that blue target. I'm planning to play with this program over our break and hope my robotics friends will do the same. Keep learning and stay curious.